Sanctuary Crystal Geyser near Green River, Utah. This geyser erupts once a day, and we got here just in time to, uh, to see the, uh, the eruption of the geyser. Unusual geology in this area has been noted since 1875. In 1935, a company decided to drill for oil, but all they found was CO2 and water. This is what formed the geyser. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit, and you can see all the uh, minerals uh, that have been, have been deposited here from the geyser, forming almost like a uh, Travertine Terrace here that uh, leads down here toward the uh, the river. Minerals like sulfur and such all in this. And uh, like I said, it goes on down to the river. I'm trying to be careful where I step. But you can see over here, here's a beautiful example of like a Travertine Terrace and a waterfall here as it goes on down toward the river. And this place is a little bit out of the way. I mean, you're on dirt roads and stuff getting down here to this. And then there's the, the guys are still going at it up there and the water flowing down where Nancy is. And you can see I'm, I'm on top of all of this, but it forms these pools here. And Nancy's walking along some of the terrace all the way down to here. And here, a little waterfall right on down into the river. And if you look way down there, you can sort of see the effect of it going into the river. just so unusual and so beautiful and it's still uh, it's still erupting I don't know how long it erupts but it erupts a while Ooh, there was a big one we just missed but uh, you can see all these little pools here and it is cold water, Nancy said, that's coming up out of it. And here's some more of the travertine. It just feels like a stone. Yeah. If you can see the different colors of the minerals, here's a good example of travertine here. And it runs on down there, and like I said, there's there's the waterfall right there at the end. The geyser erupts approximately every 24 hours, but can also erupt every two to eight hours, with the eruptions lasting from three to 49 minutes, and the water shooting from two to 80 feet in the air, the highest recorded being 200 feet. Patience is a virtue when it comes to this geyser, as you never know what to expect with each eruption. The water is cold, which makes it unique, but it is not rare as there are other soda pop geysers in the area and throughout the world. The Crystal Geyser just happens to be the largest. Here are a few still shots of our visit to Crystal Geyser. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.